Hey guys, welcome to Hops and Brews. Today we got a special beer release for you today. We are doing another trip in the woods. Another trip in the woods, that's why I'm here. That's right, I got my brother Steve here to help me out drink another trip in the woods. Uh, we have the Ginger Bigfoot, a barrel-aged Bigfoot with a lot of ginger added to it. This beer features notes of burnt sugar, orange zest, vanilla, and candied ginger. This beer does come in at 11.4% and 65 IBUs. All right, let's try this. Initial sense, oh, there's a lot of ginger in there. There's a ton of ginger. Yeah, you can smell a lot of malt too. Yeah. Mm. Initial reaction is very gingery. Yeah. Um, but, super kind of like molasses and ginger almost. Actually, the, the base of the barley wine I'm really enjoying. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, wow. it's, it's it's a very sweet on the back end. Yeah, that, that, well, that, I mean... Yeah. Mouthfeel is not very thick, but um, I, I am enjoying it. If you don't like ginger, you're not going to like this. Yes. It, it's actually got a really nice amber color It does have a it. good color. It's like, it's like if you mix ginger ale, like a really strong ginger ale with a barley wine. That's exactly what it tastes yeah. like. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. 11, 11.4. Yeah, this is gonna go down easy. Yeah. <laughs> Way too easy. Way too easy. I like it, but I find that the ginger is just a little bit too heavy for me. Kind of brow beating me with all the ginger on here. I mean, I still enjoy it. My enjoyment as it goes down is a little less and less. I'm tasting more the booziness, I should say. Yes. I think the ginger and the whiskey start intertwining together. I think, and it is just harsh. It is in your face. It is. Even for the biggest ginger aficionados, yeah. it's gonna be hard for you to take this whole bottle. If I were to try to drink it slower, I might enjoy it more because it's just sip after sip that punch of ginger in your face is yeah. starting to get get to me. I actually really enjoy the first initial flavor in my mouth. Very sweet, very malty. A lot of ginger, really harsh. It's mixing with this whiskey barrel age that just it's either increasing the whiskey flavor or the yeah. ginger flavor that is almost a little too much i really want to enjoy this beer yeah i thought the sweet maltiness of it was very good but as time wore on it just kind of got to me it just kind of like I'm, i want to be done with this yeah beer. beers were denny's breakfast <laughs> dishes i would call this moons over miami <laughs> This would be what I would think this would be. The one you almost have to have, but yeah, regret but like, Yeah, you, you order it and then you're like, ah, what did it work? Yeah, why did it work? Like it was, was like, good ah. that one time. Yeah. <laughs> Some positive notes, though, I think of this beer is the ABV. Uh, it is very high. It's 11.4. Mm -hmm. I'm not really tasting that 11.4. It drinks more to me like an 8. It's not super nine. boozy. No. Uh, you taste you the, taste you booze. taste it. You taste it there, but it's not it's over smooth. the top. Uh, I, I really like the aroma. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the color of it is fantastic. Uh, downsides, it, it is the ginger. I think the ginger and the whiskey is just too yeah, much. Yeah, if they subdued the ginger a little bit, I think I would enjoy this much more. Yeah. I, and I like ginger, but this yeah. is just a bit too much. Yeah. But we were... We were both hoping that over time that this would warm up and sweeten up uh, like a lot of big beers and multi beers yeah. should do. And this ginger seemed to just stick it, with the warmth. It dominates. Yeah, it, dominates it just dominates flavor. everything. I'm happy I got to try it. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to try it. I don't think I'd get it again. No, I, no. I, I probably won't buy this one again. Uh, coconut one, I would. Yeah, the coconut one. I the would go, the go coconut one. one. Uh, this you, one, this yeah. one, no. Yeah, you can check out that review here. Um, but uh, coconut one, no. Or coconut one, yes. This one, no. Cur black currant one, probably no. No, never that. So uh, we do have another one coming up. Yes. Um, probably next week sometime. So let's stick around for that one. More trips to the woods. More trips to the woods. Cheers. All right, cheers, guys. All right. Hey guys, yeah. if you like this video, oh, I'm gonna do that. So oh. we'll do that. <laughs> hey, hey we'll, we'll, that'll be the cut. Right. Back. <laughs> hey, if you like this video, 
Uh, hit subscribe, hit like. Uh, check out some of my other uh, videos. They'll probably be somewhere on the side right here. Um, yeah, you know, somewhere right here. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Untapped, Facebook, Twitter. The links for the, all of those will be in the descriptions below. I check out a lot of different beers on uh, Untapped, and I do a lot of posts on Instagram and Facebook, so check those out. Thanks for watching. See ya.